So just a word or two about um, ice axes. Starting with this type of ice axe, this is a um, technical climbing ice axe. Uh, this is the hammer, this is the adz. And basically this type of an axe is going to be used uh, for you know, technical climbing on ice and mixed terrain. And the, you know, people climb um, Scottish, uh, you know, hard Scottish mi mixed routes with these types of axes, um, and they generally come into their own from about grade three upwards. And the features of this axe is that it's got a very steeply dropped pick. It's got a curved shaft, uh, which means that when you're hanging on it on steep ground, you're hanging. Um, on a plane that doesn't pull the pick out uh, and also if you've got a bulge that you've got good ice or a good hook uh, beyond the bulge then you've got plenty of clearance yeah, to get your hook or pick into uh, where you want it. Obviously it's also got a handle that's comfortable um, for, for holding on to and you can use these leashless because of course they've got a little lip here um, and it means that you can basically hang on for longer without getting so pumped. Uh, another feature here is the secondary uh, handle here, and so you can change hands on the ice axe when you're moving in one direction or another. Uh, and so this is obviously a very um, technical piece of equipment. Um, and when you're using um, it for mixed climbing, what you might find is that you take the uh, once it's worn down a little bit is that you just file the end of the pick like this so it's completely flat but then file it flat like this and it just creates a positive edge so uh, it won't wear down so much but you can when you're hooking it onto small edges it will be nice and positive the last thing you want is a really dull uh, pick that's actually rounded at the end and certainly not uh, you wouldn't want it to be rounded at the bottom of the pick there but with regard to ice climbing what you would generally do is sharpen a point like this uh, as well as filing underneath this and this means that when you hit the ice uh, it doesn't shatter so much and you're much more likely to get a first time placement however if you're climbing mixed terrain with a nice sharp pick like that, it will soon get very, very blunt. So that's the technical climbing tool. Uh, this type of an ice axe uh, is the sort of thing that um, we would use for um, uh, mo moderate climbing. Um, so grade uh, two, three, possibly four. Uh, and the good thing about this is that because this, the shaft is quite straight, it means that you can use the hammer very effectively. And if you're cutting out a ledge with a straight shaft and uh, an adze like this, it's actually very easy to use. Uh, whereas, as you can see on the um, bench shaft, it's actually quite difficult to use the hammer. Uh, and it's not so easy to hold and uh, for when you're cutting out ledges. Um, so on easier terrain, when ledges and, and, and cutting out and shaping the snow is important. Having a slightly straighter shaft isn't a bad idea. Um, also, you're not using it on such technical terrain so that you can, you can get away with a little bit less uh, curve in the axe, uh, uh, you know, because you can probably find another way of, uh, you know, climbing the, uh, the moves uh, on easier ground. Um, I've put a little... Um, handle on here to you know to support my little finger and that's because I like climbing without leashes um, and the other good thing about these ice axes uh, are that if you are, have your axe in a crack like this and you want to get it seated a bit further you can then take your hammer and hammer it in a little bit further for extra security when you when you make the, the move so these are really good for you know between grade two and grade four um, now this axe here is a um, mountaineering ice axe it's got a bit of weight to it which is actually really useful 
because uh, you need some, some weight in the axe for when you are uh, cutting out uh, steps or, or, or a ledge. Um, it doesn't have a great deal of curve, which is good, because uh, we may need to um, use it as a, a buried axe belay. And uh, very curved axes don't work so well uh, on, on buried axe belays. And the pick doesn't have a great deal of curve on it. That's because generally you're going to be using this on grade 1 or 2 ground, so you know, up to 50 degrees. And um, often when you're actually climbing using this type of axe, you'll have your hand over the top and you'll be doing what we call daggering, like this. And um, the other important thing is that, uh, you know, it's got a good spike because often also you'll use it like a walking stick and you'll need to be able to plunge it in and it, for it to grip the, uh, the neve snow or ice. It's got a good ads for cutting out ledges and that's that really. You'll notice that none of these ice axes have leashes, even this one, uh, and uh, my feeling is that uh, if you're careful, uh, you generally don't need an ice, uh, a leash. Uh, a leash takes a lot of time taking it off one hand, putting it on the other, and when you're zigzagging up a slope, it's just, well, it's just a bit of a waste of time. So the interesting thing here is they've all got a little bit of rubber on the on the handles. Now, especially with an ice axe like this, over time this rubber will wear out uh, because a quite common thing to do with your ice axe is to beat your crampons so any snow that is sticking to them falls off uh, and that will eventually wreck the, um, the handle here. And so one thing that you can do uh, to replace the handle so that it's still nice and grippy, is you can use some plumber's self-amalgamating tape. Now the good thing about this is that you put it round the axe like this and take off the, um, the layer here, take off the layer like this, and when, you, when it actually comes against itself like that, the two pieces of rubber stick uh, to themselves and they become, like you can see on this ice axe, um, they basically become one. And um, it's just a good way of, of getting grip um, back on the, onto the ice axe once the, uh, the uh, original piece of rubber grip has, um, has perished. So, that's... Uh, all I have to say about ice axes, these three types, and uh, just wish you happy climbing this winter.